they don't call me a glutton for punishment for nothing. And here I am back on Red Storm. And by the way, I did score that copy of Downtown. It is coming. It will be here soon. Actually, it might be here by the time this video goes up. I didn't pay as much as I thought I'd have to pay. Of course, it depends on what you think is expensive, but I did get a mint copy, unpunched, straight from the uh, GMT warehouse, I guess. It's in a special white box um, that the seller had it in. So, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so, Red Storm. I'm learning the system with Red Storm, but I'll be switching over to Downtown definitely uh, when that comes up. Okay, today I, um, I wanted to talk about radar searching and how look down affects that and there were let me get my sheet here oh man these are mig 25 pd fox bat e let me just get that right here okay look down you go over to the radar column and yes i've drawn i've written on this so don't freak out on me here you go to the look down to the radar column. Look down is limited. Okay. And what does that mean? Okay, I'm trying to detect that NATO flight up there. They're at low altitude. And what you do in this sequence of play is you're rolling to detect undetected flights. Let's say I didn't get it on the roll, right, with the standard. Let's say I, I can't do visual because visual is ba, 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 four hexes, I believe. Yeah, and line of sight. We'll cover that in a minute. I'm going to do a radar search. Okay, I put a note here, check for look down. All right, the MiG-25 here, Flight Zudov. I do have some questions at the end of this video for you experts. The MiG-25 here, the uh, Fox Bat E, has limited look down. He has a radar search range bah, 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 here, range of 24, I don't know why I'm getting that glare, at 18 plus, it's negative two. All right, so we're gonna say that, what's our distance here let me count this up uh, i mean i've put us far one two three four five six seven okay so he's definitely in range uh if you were at 18 or more it'd be a negative two on the roll you, you roll two dice and you try to beat a number um the dice in this game are the zeros or tens so you when you roll them you add, you add them up you're going to be doing a lot of chart consulting okay i want to take a look and see if i can get this unit and see if i can identify it now radar search can be affected by look down. Look down applies if the target flight is at a lower altitude band, which he is. The uh, MiG 25s are at medium, and this unknown NATO unit is at low altitude. Okay, uh, so the limited means that aircraft are affected by look down only at targets at deck or low altitudes. If look down applies, the flight may not make a radar search or attempt to engage in BVR combat, which we'll cover later. So. I cannot even attempt to detect that unit right now. So I just wanted to point out the look down effect. Now let's take this guy and let's put him at the same one, medium, and we're gonna make a radar search. I wanted to insert a quick edit here because I forgot to explain this. Um, during the radar search phase, only one radar search can be attempt per undetected enemy flight. So. Say I attempt with Zudov to blast this guy with a radar and detect him and he fails, you cannot then attempt to blast the same target with the radar. So Babak here could not then attempt a radar search on the same one, you gotta move on. So, I mean, you might overlap your radar searches and have multiple units in here, but um, you can't do it the same unit more than once, one attempt, so just a heads up. And I just wanted to sneak that edit in here rather than using text, because that is an important thing uh, to note. Okay. Now, if you when you make a radar search, if you have a flight with track while scan radar capability noted on the ADC, it's a TS notification. I'm not sure uh, if I've seen that anywhere. Let me take a look here. TS notification. Uh, I couldn't find an example of that. If anyone knows the plane with that, uh, a Warsaw pack plane with that TS, I couldn't find one. Uh, I could also be blind and not know where to look. I assume it would be under 
track and scan radar capability noted a TS notification in the radar section. Um, I was looking and I couldn't find one. One of my questions is, what is this first line? What is RP-22M? What is, what is S-23D? Is that the type of just the name of the radar? Uh, I couldn't, I don't know what that first row, that first line means. So if you could put that in the comments, that would be great. And then if you know something with a track and scan, that would be awesome. Let me check uh, East Germany real quick. Radar, radar, TS, TS, TS. I don't see anything in there. Is that reserved for just other, for NATO countries? Unless I'm blind. Anyway, let me know. Uh, okay, so we don't have a track and scan. Uh, but that'll let you, if you have that, that'll let you make a second roll. Okay, so we're going to choose the eligible flight, roll on the appropriate radar search column, and apply radar search modifiers. Now, I had another question because this was confusing also. Oh, by the way, you have to be in a forward arc. Let me make sure I set this up right. Uh, I don't think I did. Let me just... Uh, let me just move him over here because I don't think I have him in the forward arc. There we go. Forward arc goes out. That should be good, right? Yeah, okay. He is now in the forward arc. My fault. Forward arc and ranged, and you cannot be disordered. All right, it says radar detection table. All right, now, I know I'm kind of lame, but uh, maybe you guys can help me with this. Radar detection, apply the radar search modifiers. Roll on the appropriate radar search column. Uh, this is for visual, and if you have IRST, infrared, EWR, and this is the first overall detection level. Um, I think I associated that right. Uh, I guess I use this column, okay. What are some modifiers? Um, range to target, we're good. Uh, targets in a different altitude band, nope. Targets at deck, nope. Targets at deck, mountains, nope. Searching a flight in the beam arc. Searching flight is in the beam arc of target. I am not in his beam arc. The beam arc is like on the side, see where it says like forward beam, like sideways? Searching targets in the beam. Searching, <laughs> so much. searching flight is in the beam arc of the target. So that would be if I was like this, or they were like this, I'd be in his beam arc. That does not apply. I made this as simple as possible because I'm really stupid. Um, I'm not in a chaff corridor. All right, so I think this is a straight up roll. I believe so. Okay, by the name of the plane. There's only that many planes in this game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 types, but each type is broken down into different models. So even though it says MiG-25, there's a ton of MiG-25s. So I guess that's where I'm getting fooled. All right, so let's roll the dice and see what happens. Uh, we got, that's not a bad roll, 12. M25, a 12 is a D, detected. So that radar would go and this guy would be detected. Now, I did a director's cut of my previous Red Storm video from, I think it was two years ago now almost. Um, this will stay on the board until it is visually detected and then that will get replaced with uh, this, I believe. And I'm still confused about this. Okay, if the generic counter is detected and it's visually identified, does this come in detected and visually identified or does it come in undetected? Like, does it enter in the same state? You know what I'm saying? So if this was undetected, I'm not even sure if you can have... I think you, I, let's see, visual identification, okay. Visual identification does not result in detection. Okay, so you could technically visually identify these and have to tell your opponents something and they would be, still be undetected. 
to me, this whole generic counter thing is confusing as shit. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, he would be the generic counter there would be detected flight 308, but you don't really know what it is until you visually identify it. I think I did that right. Okay, so that's an easy detection. Anyway, that is a very basic radar search. And what happens if your plane has limited look down? Uh, and the, the no look down is even worse. So I'm guessing that look down is like a bad cockpit view. I think that's what they're talking about there. Um, but that's kind of how you would do that. So let me know if that is the even the right table that I rolled on. Um, Lord knows, man. Uh, I think I did it right because I read the example of play. So we'll see what happens. Okay, that is about as much as I've learned. I'm also confused by these cloud markers. So I'm going to flip through and see if I can find something for that. I don't understand the purpose of a cloud layer covers the entire map. What are these for? A cloud layer covers the entire map. Maybe I'm missing something here. Um, yeah, it's very strange. I'm trying to think what else I could demonstrate here. What else have I learned tonight? Well, not a lot. Just the look down, the radar search. I'm still trying to put my head around the whole identified, not identified. Um, and one thing that these MiG-25s have, they have something called IRST sensors that allows them to make a second attempt if they're in the forward arc. And I found that um, on the little sheet here. They have IRST. Let's see if I can find where I am here. IRST right there. Uh, and it says for visual detection, you make a roll on the visual column and apply the modifiers, okay? Then, Warsaw packed flights with IRST sensors may make a second attempt if they're in the forward arc. Only Warsaw packed flights with IRST sensors can try it at night, and then you're limited to four hexes or less. Okay, so if we wanna do visual detection here, bring this in, and I roll, Oh, let's take a look. Let's see. Target. How many hexes away are we here if we're in this one? Two. Target three or four hexes away? No. Different altitude band? No, they're both medium. Haze or mist? Nope. Target used dash throttle. Previous term. No, we're going to say they didn't. Detecting aircraft in rear arc of target. Oh, let me turn him around this way. No, no. Let's make him rear. Let's do it. That would put me in the rear arc. Yeah, let's give him a bonus. What the heck, right? Uh, plus two. So visual first. Six, eight. Womp. All right, let's kick in the IRST and get that second one. IRST detection, same thing, plus two again. The table's a little bit better. Let's get a ball here. Ah, 13, plus two, 15. Boom. Detected. Whoop. Just like that. Okay, so that's kind of what I learned now for that. I haven't done, there's also an overall detection roll that you roll for every flight on the map, but I wanted to show like some of the different, more complicated detection types. So, okay, let me know if I did that right. Again, let me know the radar search table, why we have these cloud counters. And thanks again for watching. And we're gonna have more Red Storm. I'm gonna take this in little tiny chunks. And I know there's a, I already know that there's a video tutorial out there, uh, TC's gaming channel, um, but it's not enough. It is definitely not enough. You gotta drill down, and I'm gonna drill down. I'm gonna take every little paragraph, and in order to learn it, if I have to talk to myself and make a video, I'm gonna do it, so. All right, 